What's going on, you gamers? Today we're back with a little bit more Dying Light 2, and what we're going to be covering today is one of the mods that I think is very underrated, and that's the Frost mod. So if you want to know how good it is and why it may well be worth using in one of your builds, then stay tuned. Let's come up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. I'll bring you all the latest and greatest in content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. Obviously we've got a lot of Dying Light 2 content to cover, but there's also Elden Ring on the way. But today we're going to be going over a mod that I think is very underrated, and that's going to be the Frost mod. So what does it do, and why do I think it's well worth having in your build? So if we go over to the weapon that I've chucked on today, and that's going to be the Mohawk Hammer, which is actually quite a nice little one-hander, this shows you exactly what the Frost mod is all about. Once it's fully upgraded, it's going to apply Freeze Effect to one enemy in front of you, immobilising your target. So with this crit mod, it applies Freeze when achieving critical hits. Its base damage is exactly the same as the rest, it's going to give 16% extra damage to whatever weapon you're using, so try and chuck on as much damage as possible, and the elemental damage per second is 24, so it's a little bit on the lower side compared to some of the others. However, the elemental damage duration is only 8 seconds, so for me that kind of evens it out a little bit, and it's actually not too bad. Coming in at just under 200, I believe it's 192 damage, it's not the highest damage in the world, but considering how long the actual immobilize is, this is one of the best mods you can have for your game if you're trying to single target something and kind of stun lock it or keep it in place. Again, the same as the other crit mods, once you've fully upgraded it, it's at 25%, which is great, works even better with two because you're gonna be able to get that effect off even more, but this is one of the most underrated and underused mods in the game. And I think it's because early game, when you've only upgraded it a few times, it seems a little bit lacklustre, but as you start to play, as you start to kind of take on those tougher enemies, say for example the Volatiles, anything that you're struggling with, this can really help keep them in place, and you can absolutely decimate them while you do so. So as long as you're managing to get a bit of damage about yourself from other areas, say for example just up here you put a nice, uh, maybe shock, or maybe fling, or just something that will do a bit of damage, then down for your grip you're going to chuck on probably your empowerment, you're going to have a nice bit of damage going on and that right there is going to be the stun effect that keeps the biggest baddie in place, the one that you don't want hitting you. Now one thing you should know about this mod, it doesn't truly shine until you chuck it on in a combo effect. When you've got it with something else, because of the 50% crit, it just tends to come out a lot more often and it just works a lot better. At 25% it's just not the greatest on its own, so I wouldn't use it as a primary mod, I would have it as an additional one to whatever one you're going to have on as a freeze effect for those tougher enemies like I said. But as always what I'm going to do, I'm going to chuck on a little bit of footage, show you what it's all about and you can decide whether this is the mod for you. But you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I'll leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me like sheep, move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind Can take you so far, it's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break, off from the weak minds They can stay so 
enough, you can change lives. You create thoughts, never waste time. You got one shot, you got one life. Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job. No nine five, no mean boss, just my life and free thoughts. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stained from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. People like sheep who feed hurt it easy. Don't wanna be fast asleep when they ski Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try to change, you can say no, free me